Hello guys, you here from Machinars and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this grid animation. Let's create a new file, new project, 720p, 29 FPS and probably for the grid you already know, just create a color clip. Let's create a white color clip. Let's bring to the timeline and here we are going to add the grid effect. Let's draw the grid. And there is no secret, the X60, the Y60, the width and the, the height should be the same, but we are going to stretch this grid a little bit, so I will make it 30. And for the thickness, I want just to, to make the perspective you know already also, it's the corner effect. I don't know why, why my my effect is selected and for the corners you just need to adjust on the way you like it could be more precise if you adjust the numbers but I will let like this enable the stretch and then if you want to animate you need to bring the transform between the grid and the corners but when you animate here you have this limited space of animation. There is no loop for this grid. So if you want to have this loop, you need to use another kind of transform. It's the VR360 transform. And in this version, you have the loop, but it's working in the X position. So we use this transform, the normal one, just to rotate the grid. 90 degrees and then when you animate on the VR transform you have an infinite movement for the grid now it's all depend on the size of the clip and as you see when you rotate you cut part of this grid but it's okay because we can adjust the size in the second transfer and the more we want to fill the X size here is good and you create the animation for the frame 1 we bring to zero. In the last frame, we need to create a keyframe. And you have to try. I already found a good number for me, so it's minus 60. And it's done, guys. It's just easy like that. And you probably want to use this grid in another clip, or maybe in the color background. So we will bring the color background to the second track. And you can create a composition right here, the addition. But for the addition to work, we have to change the color of the grid also to black. And not only the grid has color. Let's make white. As you see right here, it's a little bit fat in the borders. And remove the feather in the corners, or you can bring more. It's up to you. I don't know how you like. I will remove this one. You can keep improving, just give your own artistic touch. Maybe with the average blur. So let's make blur 2 by 2, and also the glow. Glow to maximum, and you glow also to maximum. Yeah, no good. Just go uh, maybe 10. And you keep adjusting this drum grid right here. You can make, for example, 25. Have more cells. I want it more square. down a little bit these corners okay for the corner one four thousand or not four thousand three four hundred for the corner two it's also three four hundred and now it's aligned and then we can create a new track or you can use this one because the background is already 
apply just duplicate this one let's remove this composition you just use the composition if you're gonna use uh, some color background because you have to remove the color of the grid as you see the background is already black so we don't need the color clip black and this second version we can rotate maybe 107 I'm, oh, I'm so sorry guys this is nice do not change this version you can make a flip and then we create the logo of course it should be also white And now we need a new track. Let's animate with the transfer. Ten frames. Zero size to the first keyframe. We jump one frame and create a new one, just to hold the first keyframe. And then for the first keyframe, we'll pass it out. And for the last keyframe, we add just five. I know it's not aligned, perfectly aligned. But you do your own version, okay? This is the end of the video guys, don't forget as always give me the thumbs up, share, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the notification of the new videos and I see you in the next video.